Selamat datang di tangkap Sambut ramatama di alam yang indah Selamat datang di tangkap yeah. Welcome to Cangkahan Come see the beauty Only on sea Indonesia Today, we're going to venture into the wilderness of North Sumatra. We're going to ride this jeep for around two hours to reach the jungle of Bukit Lawan. Bring it on! Yes, we're going to venture on a quest in the rainforest to see the orangutan. When else will I get a golden opportunity to see them with my own eyes? Bukit Lawang is located on the bank of Pahorok River in North Sumatra. It is known for the largest sanctuary for Sumatran orangutans. There are at least around 7,000 in the area. It was founded in 1973 to preserve the declining number of orangutan population due to hunting, trading, and deforestation. Apart from orangutan, you can also find various mammals, primates, insects, and birds there. It is also the main access point to Lucerne National Park from the east side. It's only two hours of jeep adventure from the village of Tangkahan. That's why it would be a waste to miss it while you're in the area. The view from the jeep is fantastic. The blue sky, all the palm trees, and even the roaming cows. Our jeep journey ends here. From this point, we have to walk all the way to reach the rainforest. Just after this bridge lies the tropical jungle of Bukit Lawang. And here it is! The trek is actually not that bad. And since the orangutan here is semi-wild, so we don't need to dig into the very depths of the area because they could usually be seen hanging around on the edge of the jungle. As Bukit Lawang is already a part of the Lucer National Park, there are some rules that we need to obey. These include keeping a distance from the orangutans and not feeding them, since there is a risk of food poisoning. What makes Bukit Lawang and Tangkahan a bit different is that even though both are the tropical rainforest, but you can find uh, more semi-wild orangutans in Bukit Lawang. Meanwhile, most of the orangutans in Tangkahan, they are mostly wild and it is so rare to find them. Wonder what makes these two categories different? Our guide Mr. Sunny explained it. Itu tangkapan dari orang dibawa kemari di karantina. Nah, petugas melihat kondisi gimana sih kesehatannya kan. Kalau orang tan sudah sehat, mereka bawa ke tempat feeding platform dulu. Di situ dicoba untuk menyiarkan. Nah, itu artinya orang hutan semi wild itu tangkapan dari orang. Kalau yang wild itu memang dari hutan, enggak ke manusia lagi. During our quest to see orangutan, we did discover some other things and creatures. After all, it's a world of wildlife here. For example, we find a cocoon, I guess. Kind of like a spider, but it's cuter. We also stumbled upon what seemed like giant ants. Basically, they're just ants but with a way bigger size. 
They produced ammonia-like odor to ward off predators. The smell is really strong. And while we are continuing our journey, I got bitten by a leech. Look at this blood, but it didn't hurt at all. So, whatever. Well, I'm quite surprised by this. I'm wearing long sleeve shirts and trousers to prevent this. But as it turns out, the leech likes my hand the most. Mr. Sunny suddenly stopped and whistled around. It sounds like he's calling the orangutans to come there. He has protected the flora and fauna here for more than 20 years of his life. So it's no surprise that he's very close with the semi-wild orangutans. Wait, I think we heard a sound from the trees above. We can see orangutan and... Mr. Sunny slowly walked closer to them and it seemed like they're very friendly with him. Oh my god! <laughs> that's, that's the mother and the baby. I think she's peeing from the tree. <laughs> you can see there. The mother's name is the 16-year-old Wati, but her baby is nameless for now. Although her baby is wrapped around her arm, but once in a while she would also let it roam on their own to learn tree climbing. Unlike orangutans in Kalimantan who mostly stay on the ground, Sumatran orangutans spend 99% of their lives on trees. This is my first ever encounter with orangutans. And boy, they are beyond gorgeous. I can't even describe how grateful I am to meet this beautiful, loving creature. Bye bye, Wapi. Now she's going back into the wild. Mr. Sunny explained that although orangutans look similar to humans, but they are way more affectionate and full of love. Even after losing their babies, mothers would often continue to carry the dead body around in their arms, to the point it rots and dries, leaving only skin and bones. And yet, the mother would tie the baby skin all around her body to keep them close as if they're still alive. I could only imagine how heartbreaking it is for the mother and baby to be separated by humans just for the sake of profit and money. Maybe it is a wake-up call or maybe it is a moment of truth but as the clock keeps ticking, the time is up now to live a life full of love instead of greed and to protect them in their own homes. journey into the wild has not ended yet because this time we're getting into the heart of tropical rainforest in Tangkahan. Why? If you ask me, well, although our trip in Bukit Lawang was fantastic, but we only entered the very tip of it. So now we will do a jungle expedition for a full day. When you come to a tropical jungle, always make sure to wear long sleeve pants and tops because although you can see I'm all sweaty from head to toe, but trust me, it will protect you from any insect bites. 
Tangkahan is not only home to Sumatran elephants, but it is also home to many leeches. So beware of it, kiddo. They are so vicious and will look for any opportunities to stick to your bodies. If you expect a forest to be cold and all chilly, well, when it comes to a tropical rainforest, then you're definitely wrong. It's very lush and warm, with year-round humidity ranging from 77% to 88%, so you can only imagine how incredibly hot and sweaty it is. Someone just said that my outfit reminds them of Dora the Explorer. Well, although it's not exactly the same color, but I think it's a similar tone. Okay, now it's official. I'm Adele the Explorer. Okay, enough with the playtime. As we are getting deeper into the jungle, almost all of the trees are covered in moss because there is not enough room for the sunlight to shine through. Thanks to the moss, the jungle is rich in oxygen, free of pollutants, and boasts many water sources like this one. It tastes fresh like a tree. <laughs> Pardon me for my silly comment. What I meant is that the water tastes so earthy, woody, and distinctive in a very good way. It's nearly two hours into our expedition and the track is getting more and more extreme. Since this is an unspoiled rainforest, it often lacks proper path for people to travel on. Therefore, we have to make our own while also being cautious of thorns, branch, or even snakes. Especially when you're going down, you have to be extra attentive because it is so steep. And the rain last night made the ground so much worse as it becomes so slippery. Oh, not to fall down. This is so wet and slippery. Oh. What did I tell you? Okay. Okay, the worst has just passed. We've made it. Now we're getting closer to our destination. But wait, have I told you where we're actually going? Why watch Batman when you can watch the real bats? This time I'm not kidding because we're about to enter the real bat cave. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the headquarters of Bruce Wayne. important note when you're entering a bed cave is always wear your mask because the smell from the bed's dung is so strong. Uh. The entrance is full of rocks, so I need to remind you once again that you have to be extra careful and wear proper safety gear. The cave is so dark so you have to bring your own light so that you can walk carefully. Look. Upon the entrance, you can climb a bit to see the sun rays peeking into the cave. Oh, look, there is a heart-shaped hole on the ceiling. Maybe it is not a bad cave after all, but a love cave. Wow, is this the light from heaven? I'm literally on the spotlight. Oh, you know, it reminds me of the Mr. Bean's iconic opening, right? The glimmering light that shines through the cave is so beautiful. Ah, uh, I feel like an angel coming from above. The 
existence of this bat cave shows that Tangkahan is still very much a natural preserve for the wildlife ecosystem here. Like other caves, this bat cave is filled with stalactites and stalagmites, creating majestic pillars and making a decent habitat for the bat to protect themselves from predators. Oh, these are the bats! Wow, there are so many of them, probably like hundreds of them in this cave. And also be aware of the snake because my guide said that there might be some snake here and I don't exactly love snakes, so yeah. Where there is a prey, there must be a predator. And that's actually a good proof of a balanced ecosystem here in Tangkahan. The cave is a very ideal environment for the bats because the temperature is quite stable so they don't have to spend more energy to regulate their body temperature. All around the cave lies the bat's dung and also the smell is unbearable but it is really good for fertilizer. In fact, bat dung can be used to enrich the soil making the plants healthier and greener. And that's a wrap on our cave expedition. Now that we've visited the cave and trekked for more than two hours, we have finally reached the edge of this jungle. Welcome to Batang River. Oh, now I can rest my body in peace here. Well, you know, not in that sense. The water is so refreshing. Don't worry, this river is completely clean and clear. The color changed because of the heavy rain last night, but it is still completely safe to drink from it. And here comes our snack, pineapple. Hmm, the organic and natural fruit is surely a different breed. It tastes way sweeter, more watery, and fresher than the one sold at supermarkets. Well, let's rest our bodies for a while before getting back to where we left off. See the beauty only on Sea Indonesia. A jungle relaxation wouldn't be complete if you're not using everything that the wilderness has to offer. You have body ache or muscle pain? Let's put it on a rest in the natural hot spring. Yes, we're gonna go to our own sauna hidden in a jungle. The hot spring is just across this river. But because the current is quite strong, so it is safer for me to go on a short river tubing just to reach it. And there you go. I present you my secret jungle spot. This hallway is so narrow, I even have to turn my body around to get through it. Welcome to the warm spring in Tangkahan. As you get deeper into the cave, the water gets even warmer there. That's because the source of the spring lies inside this small cave. So when you're further from the source, the spring merges with the river, making it feel colder on your body. Oh, this is super, super relaxing because the river is so cold compared to this. Oh, it feels like a private spa here, except the lush greenery and the sound of the river is a huge bonus for me. This hot spring supposedly could soothe skin allergies and cure rashes or itchy skin. But please remain on your seat, because here comes the best part of it, the mud bath. Oh, so refreshing. Okay, so this is the mud. The smell is so earthy, it's just like the volcanic ash or sulfur. 
they say this mat has a lot of benefits for the skin, like, you know, purify the skin, clear the skin and stuff. So, let's prove it. It actually feels like a clay mask, except it's a real mat from a hot spring. Surprisingly, when you look for Tangkahan on the internet, you will then find many mentions about this hot spring and mud bath. This mud comes directly from volcanoes, so it's no wonder that it has so many benefits for our skin. Okay, how do I look now? Am I prettier? Cuter? Please don't get grossed out by me. <laughs> Leave it for a few minutes to get the best result. After that, gently clean your face with the warm water. Okay. Does my skin look clearer or not? I hope it does. As expected, my skin feels calmer now, especially after being all sweaty from the tracking. It still amazes me how nature has everything that we need. We just gotta look a bit deeper and we will find what we're looking for in the wilderness. The hidden treasures of Mother Earth. Let's end our long, long journey by enjoying a heartful meal among the nature. Our guides, Bang Choki and Bang Anta, have prepared a jungle-style lunch down by the river. Voila! This is our lunch. I know it looks so festive, as if we're celebrating something. But no, actually, this is just some homey cuisines that we're gonna eat by the river. All the leaves and flowers decoration, it truly adds to the jungle vibes. In here, we have Sumatran chicken curry, rice noodles, spicy tempeh, and creamy chicken. Wow, they all look so yummy. Without further ado, let's start eating because my stomach is getting so mad. Mm. So good, the chicken is so good. Oh, it already tastes so delicious from the start. But with this view, it might be one of the best food moments that I've ever experienced. It may be just a simple homey cuisine, but when you're eating it in a jungle, down by the river, the sensation is truly different. Oh, it's amazing. If you have been living in the city for too long, a time like this is truly really exceptional and so rare to find. Instead of listening to all the noise and traffic, you get to hear the sounds of nature, be it the melody of the river, the laughter of monkeys from deep inside the jungle, or the wind whistling from the trees above. Selamat datang di The song tells about the natural treasures of Tangkahan and how this paradise could fulfill your longing and yearning of nature. As my favorite poet Thoreau said, rather than love, money and fame, give me the truth. And I believe, out of wealth and material possessions, the truth lies here in Tangkahan where we could be at one with nature, into the wild that is far away from vanity. Well, 
welcome to Tangkahan.